here in Cyprus under the banner of IKV Pax Christi, the International Conference on Conflict took place. Amna Farooq, uh, she is uh, working with the migrant uh, camps in Azad Kashmir, uh, Pakistan. After coming to this conference, I have realized that there are many other people living in the conflict areas. هذه الصور هنا توضح لاحظي الحياة البسيطة التي يعيشها أولئك الناس حيث البيوت البسيطة والحياة البسيطة أيضا وتمثل هنا كما ترين في الصورة المرأة كيف تعمل حتى تحصل على قوت يومها فيعتمدون على صيد الأسماك وعلى تربية الحيوانات في هذه المناطق أنا الذي عملته لأهل الأهوار لم أعمل الشيء الكثير أما برامج تعليمية برامج محولومية تعليم النساء القراءة والكتابة أو البرامج الصحية عن طريق العيادات المتنقلة لتوفير اللقاحات للأطفال والنساء في سن الإنجاب I'm Hamad, living from Kirkuk, as you said. Uh, actually, my neighborhood is a mixed neighborhood. It consists from Arabs, Kurds, Turkmans. The fact is that uh, before 2003, there was uh, no signs that referring to any uh, one that uh, he's belonged to one of the backgrounds or ethnicities. But after 2003, and after all the whole problems which has happened, uh, you know, it started to be signs for that this one, this house is Kurds and that house is Turkman. When the Israelis occupied East Jerusalem in 1967, they, they selected the name of neighborhoods for the Palestinian East Jerusalemite uh, communities based on the idea that they are part of Israel. The Israelis annexed the land of Jerusalem, considering it to become um, part of the land of Israel, but they did not annex the, the people of, uh, of Jerusalem, which the Israelis continue to consider as Jordanian citizens residing permanently in Israel. So I am, as uh, a Palestinian living in Jerusalem, I am, not, I am not considered by them to be a Palestinian, but considered to be Jordanian citizen residing permanently in Israel. On the level of my neighborhood, there was no tension, the fact is, uh, but, uh, yeah, but you've been seeing the campaigning for the, um, each house is campaigning for its political parties, which is maybe, uh, uh, you know, majority of them are uh, supporting their political parties, which is supporting their ethnicity. So you can find the whole flags in their houses and the posters, which is representing their political parties with the different colors, each color representing a political party which belongs to an ethnicity. But the fact there is no tensions in the whole neighborhood. The wall that is uh, uh, going around uh, my neighborhood is the wall that separates between what Israel decided to be in the side of Israel from East Jerusalem and what Israel decided to be West Bank area. In this regard, you might know that Shafat community includes the Shafat refugee camp. It includes refugees that were evacuated by the Israeli authorities in 1967. They are holders of Jerusalem ID, which is blue ID that the Israeli authorities give. But now the Israelis want to put them uh, in the part of West Bank. Therefore, this will be a first step of taking over their uh, blue Jerusalem IDs and turn them to West Bank uh, ID, uh, ID holders. والنساء اللواتي تريهم في الصورة بنات صغيرات متزوجات دون السن القانوني وأنهن لا يمتلكن أي عقد قانوني ويشن الكثير من الأمور حقوقهن وواجباتهن لا لا هي فيها نزاعات دائما تكون فيما بينهم عشائريا ولهذا دائما ما يؤدي إلى قتل كثير من الشباب عند النزاعات فيما بينهم حتى النساء لأن الجيش العراقي استطاع أن يستلم جميع الأسلحة من أولئك الناس and the most wonderful thing is that the children are well, speaking the three languages because they are mixed from the, all the things and when they start to play to each other, they start to learn the, each, uh, each other's language. Uh, since 1967 till today, only few neighborhoods or communities in East Jerusalem were zoned and therefore if you have zoning plan, you can apply for a permit and you can get it. But if you do not have zoning plan finalized to your community, you cannot apply for a, a, a permit yet. And this is the case of my uh, community in Shafat, where since 1967 till today, the Israelis did not finish the zoning plan of the area, and therefore you cannot apply for a permit. The only way to have a house in this uh, area will be through building without a permit. But if you build without permit, they will tell you you will have a demolition order. But you are not releasing the zoning plan that will allow me to apply for a permit and I cannot continue to be without 
uh, housing without a house. Therefore, as you see, it's at the end a political issue, preventing the Palestinians of having houses in East Jerusalem.